I always say I'm like, wear red, white, and blue, but bleed orange. We are specifically here just for Team USA. And like our whole goal was to make it a, a home away from home. I run our little snack station with the counterpart. So we just have like a bunch of fueling options, some performance specifically like protein bars, protein powder, protein shakes. Uh, we like make energy bites, peanut butter and jelly, stuff for them to grab and go. And then a lot of stuff that's just familiar um, that they, you know, are familiar with from the U.S. that we actually sh packed up and shipped here on pallets. Like a lot of people are like, oh, I just feel it feels nice to be surrounded by people who speak English and like it's not confusing and it's just kind of like I get in, do my training, eat familiar foods. There's like we have sports medicine here, too. Um, then they can do some recovery whatever that looks like for them. And then we also have a lot of like outdoor space. So people like are on hammocks are like in chairs and then there's games. Um, it's like camp. All my foundation was built at Syracuse. Being a part of like a major sports school and being an athlete has helped me so much in my current role. Just because I feel like I have an understanding of what the athletes are kind of going through, even though it's collegiate versus Olympic. But I like understand the go, go, go mentality and sometimes just needing a little help. Um, and even if my role is like very small at the games, which like, you know, there's so much going on. If I can just do anything to like simplify their life, I'm like here for it. It like makes me excited just to be the person to like hand them off like different drip drops, you know, make, like if I hear someone's dehydrated or hearing someone has like GI distress, um, like having that foundation of nutrition and then also like understanding of sport um, has really, like that started at Syracuse. I'm like right by this like college corner. So like when I see people pick up the Syracuse flag or like any flags in New York state, I'm like, yay. So I saw him pick it up and I was like, go Syracuse. I was like, do you want me to take your picture? So then I took his photo and then I told him that I also went there. I watched Hattie Taylor compete. Um, and she was a sophomore and freshman when I was a junior and senior at Syracuse on my rowing team or we were on the same team. And it was awesome. She, they won bronze. So that was really thrilling and then I like waited in the hustle and bustle to see the athletes coming out. So I got to see her. I really do think like we've make, made a really big impact. A lot of athletes are excited to come through.